Blowing up or crashing is not something new when it comes to testing space flights. You can always expect something to go wrong. It is unfortunate that the SpaceX Starship suffered the same fate when making its maiden launch on the 20th of April this year. But there is more to that. In the process of the liftoff, the launch pad was completely destroyed. Too bad. Does this mean that the first SpaceX Starship launch was a total failure? Or is there anything positive that we can take from the Starship launch debut? Let us find out. The SpaceX fans had high expectations as they eagerly awaited the launch of the next generation Starship rocket. A group of fans that had gathered in the South Padre Island were captured on camera, making some joyful noise as the Starship rocket was lifting off from the SpaceX launch site in Starbase, Boca Chica, Texas. But the joy of the fans was short-lived. Just four minutes after launching, the SpaceX Starship exploded. The SpaceX team confirmed this in a tweet that reads, As if the flight test was not exciting enough, Starship experienced a rapid, unscheduled disassembly before stage separation. Although the Starship was destroyed, the good news is that no one was killed or hurt since there were no crew on board. Remember, it was a test flight and there is no reason to risk human life in such a scenario. Nevertheless, SpaceX suffered significantly since the launch pad was completely destroyed. SpaceX founder and CEO Musk was deeply worried about the launch as he made a statement saying, I would consider anything that does not result in the destruction of the launch mount itself to be a win. But why is the destruction of the launch pad a big deal? First of all, it is quite expensive to build and maintain a launch pad. It is estimated that the Starbase launch site costs SpaceX a whopping $2 billion. Building a launch facility is damn expensive because you will need to install very sophisticated and highly technological equipment. If you take a quick look at the SpaceX Starbase launch site, the first thing you will see is the 480 feet launch tower that holds the rocket in place during launch. The launch stand has a system that ensures that the rocket is released at the right time. Just like all other launch facilities, Starbase has several fuel tanks that store the propellant that is needed for liftoff. In the case of the Starship rocket, it uses liquid oxygen and methane as propellants. The explosion of rockets is very dangerous since these propellants easily catch fire and can cause some big damage. The launching platform has a launch control center which is responsible for the mission control. With all these components in the launching pad, you now understand why Musk and other top SpaceX employees are seriously concerned about the launch pad. Despite the careful planning, SpaceX did not succeed in securing the launch pad. The footage of the launch shows some great destruction, something like a gigantic crater that formed directly under the launch tower. Anyone who watched the events unfold will easily conclude that the Starship launch is a massive failure since the rocket did not reach its destination. But before making that conclusion, remember that the launch was a test flight. And just like any test, things can go either way. And the SpaceX team was well prepared for such results. Prior to the launch, billionaire and CEO Musk had indicated that the launch had a 50% chance of succeeding. John Logsdon, professor and founder of the George Washington University Space Policy Institute, made a similar observation in a statement that says, They did a very good job of lowering expectations prior to the launch. There are multiple things that can go wrong, and something did. This explains why the failed launch is not a big deal. In fact, the SpaceX team believes that the failure of the launch is a big milestone, and some of the big names in the space and rocket industry agree. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson has gone ahead to congratulate the SpaceX team despite the failure of the mission. The NASA chief sent his congratulations via a tweet saying, Congrats to SpaceX on Starship's first integrated flight test. Every great achievement throughout history has demanded some level of calculated risk, because with great risk comes great reward. Looking forward to all that SpaceX learns, to the next flight test and beyond. In a statement, SpaceX said that the Starship's first flight test was a significant milestone that gives them an opportunity to learn. Part of the statement reads, With a test like this, success comes from what we learn and we learned a tremendous amount about the vehicle and ground systems today that will help us improve on future flights of Starship. After the maiden flight test flopped, the question in everyone's lips is, when is the next space flight? SpaceX has confirmed that the next space flight will not be in a few days or weeks, but some months from now. 
It is taking SpaceX relatively long for the next spaceflight test, since they have to make serious repairs to the launch pad or build a new one altogether. From experience, there is every possibility that the next Starship spaceflight may also not be a success. The SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket experienced three launch failures before it became a great performer. To date, the Falcon 9 has successfully flown 217 times from 2010. It is quite remarkable that 61 of those launches happened in 2022. The Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, the body that approves rocket launches in America, has confirmed that it will start an investigation into the Starship launch failure and the consequent destruction of the SpaceX launch pad in Brownsville, South Texas. This is a standard practice that is conducted when a rocket fails to meet its objectives. Just as discussed in this video, many news outlets are flooded with news about the failure of the Starship launch. But we need to be a bit optimistic and flip the other side of the coin. What should we have expected if things worked out as planned? It is straightforward. After separation from the Super Heavy booster, the Starship spacecraft would have proceeded for some six minutes into low space. From here, the Starship was going to make a full trip around Earth before re-entering the Earth in the Pacific Ocean near the coast of Hawaii. For the Super Heavy launch vehicle, it will make a return trip and land softly in the Gulf of Mexico, which is approximately 32 kilometers from the launch site in Boca Chica, South Texas. Hopefully, SpaceX learnt from the spaceflight test that did not go well and will succeed in the subsequent spaceflights. What is your take on the next SpaceX Starship test flight? Do you think it will succeed or fail? Feel free to give your views in the comments section below. To this end, thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can always get a notification when we post the latest and most exciting space news that you would not want to miss. Till next time, cheers!